The vision of COMPAT is first, we do multi scale modeling. And multi scale modeling is very broad. We see that in many of the sciences. But then you quickly find that you want to run these models on big computers. And this is where the problem starts. Multi scale application is the use of models to explain physical phenomenon that can range in various scales, can be in time, space, or both. Um, there are many complex problems that are multi-scale in nature, and the study of fusion plasmas is one of them. Well, many of the uh, processes in nature are either multi-scale or they are multi-physics. So one type of physics is insufficient to understand the problem, and one scale or one order of magnitude in scales is also ins insufficient to uh, understand the problem. And that means that uh, just solving differential equations or any type of equations by hand very quickly limits your applicability of your mathematics or of your theory. Life is an inherently multi-scale process. Um, and, and as with, with every uh, question, um, it, it really depends what it is we're, we're asking uh, as to what um, scales, in length and time scales, are, are relevant to, to answer that question. There are probably thousands of unsolved problems in materials, but in terms of mechanical problems, we are interested in knowing why materials break and how they break. Uh, Multiscale simulation can play a very important role in understanding how we can develop these new materials. We can use very accurate models to simulate at very low levels, such as the level of uh, atoms and electrons. And then we can use uh, much coarser methods to simulate much longer length scales. We don't have the accuracy of these bigger models, but we can simulate much larger length scales. Um, for example, say the whole of an aircraft wing. We want to offer solution to run multi-scale models on high performance systems and if possible the biggest computers you can find. HPC stands for high performance computing and by high performance computing we mean any form of computing that needs to take place away from a desktop because the computing scale in terms of the hardware makes it too large to support the exascale is the very top of the tree in terms of the most performant machines that we currently aspire to. There isn't an exascale machine available in the world today. Our vision is to provide generic solutions, which we call multi-scale computing patterns, that will help us to use these HPC systems as efficiently as possible. Uh, multi-scale computing patterns are, as the name implies, uh, a set of, uh, of three uh, patterns. Uh, which you can apply to uh, multi-scale applications um, to combine different single-scale submodels in, in different ways. Um, the idea of the patterns is that you can have a diverse set of applications um, mapped to these one of these three patterns or a combination of them. And in doing so, um, it allows you to run the, to map these applications very efficiently to large-scale resources. So the essential point of multi-scale computing patterns is that instead of manually transporting every application to uh, exascale infrastructures, that instead we can focus on porting the patterns and then we fit uh, the applications within the patterns. Uh, the last thing is that the patterns have been designed in such a way that they capture the vast majority of multi large-scale multi-scale applications that we can think of. What Compat is trying to do is show how you can combine multiple components in a multi-scale context, which means different levels of computing from a potentially microscopic scale. It could be, let's say, quantum mechanical from a chemical or physical point of view, right up to a continuum level. There's no way you could do a single scale simulation from an electronic structure level to describe an aircraft wing. But by linking one kind of component to others along the hierarchy, you can transfer information up to a scale that does represent a genuine high fidelity description of such an aircraft part. And that needs all these parts to be placed on that very large machine and to interact with each other in ways that are quite uh, varied and we categorize them into patterns. And those patterns have structures that we've developed generic forms for. So this kind of uh, application should be able to be deployed on these machines in the future, given the, the, the design criteria we know they have, 
to be very effective. Energy efficiency is of massive importance to HPC as a whole industry. The energy consumption of platforms is so high that it's been identified as one of the grand challenges for an exascale compute facility. Current estimates put an exascale platform at somewhere between 30 and 40 megawatts of electricity. To translate this into money, that might be between 30 and 40 million pounds a year to run an exascale facility. This is unaffordable for all but the absolute largest facilities. But Compact provides us a unique opportunity to look at applications at a holistic level and see how the multi-scale simulations are consuming electricity and power, not only as their single-scale models, but at the composition of their multi-scale model. And here we can use the software stack developed as part of the Compact project to really get an overall understanding of the energy usage of the multi-scale simulation and work to try and reduce this consumption. And if we can achieve that, that will be a fantastic contribution to the HPC industry. Well, Compact is an interesting project that uh, enables the uh, distribution of different scales and different uh, physics on different computers. So it, it actually it enables two types of things which we cannot do without Compact. One is the multi-scale issue, the fact that you have 16 orders of magnitude and 20 orders of time temporal resolution in, your, uh, in, in the universe, in, at least in the part that the astronomers are interested in. And the other thing is the, uh, the, the fact that you have so much tremendous computer power needed in order to resolve the issues, uh, the, the, the big astronomical questions, so to say, um, that one way to solve that is to combine large computers together. And that enables you to use them as a sort of a bigger computer. Even though you don't have a bigger computer, you can use somebody else's big computer in order to make yours even bigger. Uh, Compact offers uh, a range of tools that help us coordinate these multi-scale simulations in an efficient way so that we don't waste time on these very large supercomputers and also, just as importantly, we don't waste energy that these supercomputers need to run. We believe that multi-scale models, but also using multi-scale models in what we call replica computing mode, so running statistics of your inputs, that is a mode of usage that we will see more and more often. Coupled models, coupled physics, coupled uh, multi-scale models. Being scientists, what we want to do is concentrate on the science uh, of our problem. And while it's extremely important for the, the reasons I've discussed to have, um, uh, to consider the, the technicalities of, of um, uh, communication between models and, and to get, the, to optimize these uh, computer simulations, those are ultimately distractions um, to, to what we're trying to do, which is produce a scientifically valid model. And of course our hope is that our technology, our solutions are generic and powerful enough so that they can become, you know, a big, um, a big and important tool to be used in, in future HPC. Thank you.